is it, you guys? It's Lauren, and today is going to be an October Halloween favourites video. Woo! And, um, yeah, because I haven't really spoken to you guys much, I thought I'd make a nice video for you. So, I'm going to just uh, hop, hop right into the holy video -y ness of this interaction. So, I'm going to start off with things I bought. Del what, what was this? <laughs> I'm going to uh, start off with things I actually deliberately bought for Halloween and then there's going to be things I bought because it's October and I can only get them at Halloween and then other things because I felt like buying them this month okay yeah sound good awesome okay so for Halloween I have my little box of tricks that you guys have obviously seen me use in uh, the last couple of my videos and stuff so yes so I'm going to start off with I bought I spent like £20 on face paint this month and it's something I wouldn't normally do but it seemed like a good idea because it was Halloween. So I used a brand called, um, well I tend to use quite a lot of different versions of this brand. They're all um, Snazaroo face paints and this is a classic colours. I have two classic colours face paints from Snazaroo. I have my green and my um, sparkly red one. They're handy, they come in good, they do things well, and they work well, so that's good. Oh, world's favourite face and body paint. Oh, fascinating. So that's those two. I've got a metallic colour Snazaroo, and I've kind of killed the lid, so that's my black one. That's... They, re they work really well, surprisingly, I thought they would, like, come off. And I have... Wait, no, I put all the lids on the wrong one! Right. So, my... I, I lied, I'm sorry guys, my classic colour Snazaroo is my white one, I put the lid on the wrong one, and I have a sparkle colour Snazaroo which is my pink one, because it's sparkly, and how I got that mixed up I don't know. But also I have um, my trusty sponges, they're really dirty, they need to go in the wash, tada, you see this, see all the gross, yes. I have an old brush I use for my uh, zombie contouring, that's helpful. And of course, trusty eyelashes. They come in handy for videos and Halloween. And every day. You can wear them every day if you wanna, but I don't anymore. So that's my little Halloween -y box of treats for that. Um <clears throat> where my voice is going. Um This is the only thing I bought because it's October and I pretty much can't get them in any of the shops around here unless it is October. So this is my trusty little, you've seen these in so many of my videos, my little blurred hand hair grips. I love these so much. I've been itchy face. I've been trying to find them in England for ages and I can't find them. And as soon as I found these ones, I had to buy them. Oh, I dropped it. And then I looked on my Instagram and um, hey leader bunny or bear or whatever. Hey leader uh, from YouTube's has a new one and it's like a green zombie one and I was like oh I want that one now but of course I have no money because I don't get paid until Friday <sighs> that was manly that was very manly so that's, that's the clip and I'm only going to show you this one because it comes with my costume and I don't want to like put my costume on just to show you for this video because I'm gonna hopefully be doing that a whole video for my Halloween costume this year but this is part of it do you like it is my little top hat um the actual shop selling it was an eBay store and it said it's a burlesque dancer but I'm pretty sure it's not it doesn't look like a burlesque dancer to me it just kind of looks like a Victorian slut which is kind of annoying because I didn't want to be as slut for Halloween but I'm gonna zombie it up and like kick asses this year hopefully because I have a few places to go so I like this do you like it I like the feather you can take it out as well Ta -da. so yeah that's oh representing my Halloween costume this year because that's obviously genuinely what I got because of Halloween so that goes with the hand in this situation um ah, moving the bag closer so I'm um, this month I've been like if you can't already tell by my face I've been a massive fan of eyeliner I don't know what it is about fall and winter that makes me go mental with it but I've just been 
dropping everything in this video. Um, I've been using my brown eyeliner quite a lot at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's because my black one's like destroyed. But I use pencil eyeliner on the bottom lids and uh, liquid on my top lids because otherwise they smudge. If I do it the other way around. I don't know why, but it does. That happens. So that's one of my favourite things for ever and October. So eyeliner. Woo. Um, I've noticed that with the things I have left in my little box of tricks, it's mostly... It, no, no, it is. It's all accessories, and I didn't realise this until just now. But yes, um, I'm going to start off with this. This, in, this small piece of awesome inspired me to do a whole Halloween makeup video around this. This is what I call my Riddler ring. I got it from... Um, I believe I got it from Topshop? Can you see that? Yeah, there. Topshop in England. And it only cost me £4 because I'm awesome. And I'm a student. <laughs> so I love it. And I had to buy it literally because Riddler is my favourite character. And Jim Carrey is pretty much my favourite actor as well. So it was mine and I have no money left because it was literally what I spent in my purse. So I'm now poor <laughs> for the rest of the month. And again with rings, this one is kind of like, you know when you go trick or treating and they give you like really tacky jewellery? This was from a cupcake in Greg's that Bee bought me and I love it because it's so tacky. It's a little kitty ring. <laughs> See that? It's a kitty. And it barely fits my hand because it's obviously for kids. See, it's tiny. But I make it fit and I wear it because I like it because it's so tacky. But if you don't like tacky, don't wear them simply give them to me because <laughs> I will wear them so that's the rings um, this I've been keeping an eye on for a while I've wanted to buy this for ages it's I'll get it out of the packet I'm wearing it right now to be fair I can't open the packet yeah. failing at life as you do Ooh, come here, come here jewellery. I got myself a new conch bar this month when I bought this t-shirt. <laughs> I got another conch bar. Um, I am wearing it now, see ta-da, you can't really see it that well. So I got the other side. It, ah, dropping everything, everything. Um, so it is a double-sided conch bar, but I can't change it at the moment. The guy in the shop told me not to. But it's a pink and white pill bar and everyone keeps asking me why I have a tablet in my ear because I want to because I'm different and strange but I've wanted one of those for ages and I really wanted like a green a green like a really disgusting green and white but they didn't have green so I went with pink green and pink aren't different different aren't the same that's I'm ah I am not in the zone of filming videos. Um, another thing is what my mother got me. Um, this is quite cool. I think she got it me last month, but I couldn't find it for a while. It's, I believe it's a oriental inspired bracelet. Ta-da, it's got lots of different beads. It's got um, lucky coins, uh, writing and jingly jangly bits. And I really like it. It's, oh, was I even holding that in shot? There we go. So it's just, a twisty 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 I can't untwist it because my nails it just twists undone and twists back up ah, it looks like a necklace when I hold it like this I'm sorry um, yeah so that's nice I can't put it on myself because you have to twist it so I can't wear it because no one's in the house to do it up for me which is sad because I wanted to wear it today um, I'm gonna have to say these two are two of my favourite items I've bought this month because I've been really into steampunk fashion at the moment and I've really wanted to kind of involve it in my wardrobe but I can't afford the dresses and the clothing because I don't get paid much so I went with earrings instead. These I love, I showed you these in my cinema outfit of the day um, they're my Alice in Wonderland earrings. That's the one with the uh, rabbit. Yeah? The oh, for goodness sake. I'm dropping everything. So yes, this is the one with the rabbit in it. 
and this is the one with Alice looking behind the little thingy thing. Yep. So they're nice. I got them. They said steampunk on them, but they don't really look that steampunky. So, but they're kind of like little old-fashioned photo frames, which I really like, and they are easy to wear. And I think I'm gonna wear them to the cinema again today. Yeah. Yeah. They're handmade as well. You can tell they're handmade. Not saying they're crappy, but yeah, they're handmade. I just thought I'd put that up. And the last thing I bought this month has to be one of my favourite things I have bought since forever. I've been waiting to get a pair of these and I've never really had the confidence to just buy a pair and wear them around outside. But I ended up doing it because I felt like it. And I had the money, so I bought these. Aren't they awesome? They're my, uh, they turn everything green. I thought I'd just inform you. They're my steampunk um, goggles and no, you can't wear them swimming, but they're awesome and I love them so much and they're all distressed and gross and I was gonna buy them and then like stick things to them to like steampunk them up a bit more but I don't think I need to because everyone's like do you actually wear them on your face and I was like uh no I wear them as a headband because that's what I do and I'm hopefully gonna, gonna I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear them out today because the friend I'm going to the cinema with will probably think I'm a nut job, but they should really know that by now. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my October favourite thing. So yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to show you one more thing. In one of my other videos, I'm pretty sure I showed you like I used to wear like a lot of bracelets. And I had one that was a thick red like jelly band that said, are you feeling lucky? And it's from the same brand as this t-shirt. And I'm going to show you this, because I bought this when I bought my pill conch bar. Ugh. And it says, um, it's a medium guys t-shirt, that's why it's so big. It says, are you feeling lucky, punk? And I love it. And it matches my bracelet, which I thought was quite cool. So, yes. Oh, my hair looks short. Um, the people who are wondering, because I've had, like, people come up to me in, like, person and asked me if I've had my hair cut really short and that I'm wearing extensions. No, I'm not. Um, it's the way I had my hair cut. I wanted like, mm, 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 I wanted really strange like short layers. So my brother's girlfriend did it for me and now everyone seems to think I've had my hair cut into a bob. But no, no I haven't. So yes, that's uh, today's video and I now need to go put some food in my face because I haven't eaten yet today and it is the time half eleven and I've been up since nine and I've done nothing well I've tidied my room you wouldn't believe I tidied my room because I just put all the crap that I moved onto my bed onto my floor so uh, yeah I'm gonna go uh, have a awesome Halloween I will hopefully be getting up makeup tutorials for some of my uh, looks like my doll makeup because I haven't done that yet because it deleted everything but I can't promise anything because obviously I only have a week left till Halloween but it won't stop me doing it after Halloween I'm pretty sure I'll probably still upload some <sighs> oh yeah tell me what you guys think of um if you've seen Frankenweenie tell me below because I'm going to see that later and I want to know what it's like and I'm really excited because I saw Brave the last time I went to the cinema and that was best film it was so good i loved it and now i'm just rambling <laughs> but yes uh let me know that in the comments below what you want to see from me what you've seen in the cinema what i should go see in the cinema blair 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 oh i'm tired excuse me being rude i'm yawning at you guys i'm just gonna shuffle over here so that i can turn you off because <laughs> it's awkward when i have to be like turn off the camera but yes uh I forgot to mention my bat lamps. Do you like them? I turned them on for this video. Yep. I'm actually gonna go this time. Okay. Bye guys. Uh, bye. Bye bye bye.